Okay, ladies and gents, today I'm going to um, talk about descriptions. If you go up here under these help resources here on the uh, on the webmaster guidelines, one of them is called uh, uh, search engine optimization. And if you click on that, it opens up a, uh, a PDF. And if you scroll down uh, a bit on here, it, it has lots of helpful topics. I'm not uh, trying to skip skimp over them, uh, but most of them I'm covering already. One of them is make use of the description meta tag. Um, and we don't need to use the meta tag because uh, Zara writes that for us, but uh, basically it's uh, using this uh, this description and filling it in so that uh, so that uh, the Google or, or other uh, search engines can find it. Um, as it says here, description meta tags are important because Google might use them as snippets for your web pages. We say might because Google may choose to use a relevant section of your page's visible text if it does a good job of matching up with the user's query. Uh, in any case, um, when you fill it in, this uh, description, and you do a Google search, it's this section down here. So if, if you look here, uh, Brands Baseball Cards provides a large uh, selection of vintage and modern baseball cards for sale. Here in the text underneath the title, uh, Brandon's Baseball Cards provides a large section of vintage and modern baseball ball cards for sale, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so it's that section down here that we're talking about. So if I close this and close this and go back to my um, my website that I'm working on in Zara, uh, if I click on here and go to the page properties uh, icon, uh, you can see that there's a page description section. And uh, here you just want to fill this in with something that is worthwhile, right? So purchase your home with confidence and protect the biggest investment you'll ever make with a home inspection from North Texas Residential Inspections. Yeah, some kind of description of what the page contains is what you really want to do. Um, so you want to fill that in there, type in whatever you want, press the apply button. You can also do the same thing for your website. Again, this is the default description for any pages that you don't have a description for. Um, that's what you want to fill in. Um, I'll go ahead and take a moment to talk about keywords here because they're, they're filled in in the same place, more or less under this keywords uh, um, area. Go ahead and you want to just type them in. They are comma separated. So here I have home space, space inspection, comma. So home inspection is one of the keywords residential inspection, North Texas house, house inspection, home inspector, residential inspector, um, house inspector, international code council member, NACHI certified, uh, T-A-R-E-I, which is the Texas Association of Real Estate Inspectors, uh, professional inspection, things that make sense for the website. So once you fill those in, again, you can press apply and those go for the website. And for the page, you have page keywords, website keywords. The page, uh, the website keywords are default for any website, any web page, sorry, that doesn't have them. So that's it. I hope you found that um, informative and helpful, and we'll see you back next time.